Okay, and now we go back to the box office hits, and we started off with the Hannah Montana movie. Starring the lovable, yet sometimes controversial tabloid queen, Miley Cyrus. Now, Hannah Montana has been a very popular kid show for a few years now, and I'm not going to lie to you, I myself have very much enjoyed it. Miley has a likable personality, which makes the way she plays the character of both Miley Stewart slash Hannah Montana on the hit TV series all the more better. Now, they are one and the same, but in certain aspects have different feelings. And in this film, Miley joins her father, Robbie, of course played by her real-life father, Billy Ray Cyrus, on a trip back home to Tennessee to reflect upon what's important in life, as if the whole going back to your roots concept hasn't been done to death already, and it just doesn't get any better. Now, the big problem here, however, is that the TV series was a comedy. But we, we didn't get that here. As a matter of fact, I hardly found any of the movie to be funny at all, or even more so, it doesn't even try to be for the most part. It comes more off as a melodrama from a character of a comedic TV show. While Miley herself is not always overly funny, the supporting crew usually is, and it brings out actually the best in her, including the likes of Jason Earls, Emily Osment, and Mitchell Musso, but we really don't see them here as prominently as we would on the show. And in my opinion, that's, that's one of the things that really hurts this fil film, and here's, here's some more things. Basically now, Miley has to choose between the two worlds she lives, as either Miley Stewart or Hannah Montana, because... I gotta mention this. Oh yes, there's also a love story here too, which I found to just be very uninteresting. I found the whole story between Miley and the character of Jake Ryan on the TV show to be light years better. And while well, a conflict between who the world knows her as and who she really is is a good idea, to me it just defeated the whole concept of who Hannah Montana is. And that's someone who had the best of both worlds, as the song says. If they were going to do a movie about a fictional pop star with the same conflict, they should have not used Hannah Montana, and it probably would have been a better movie. But Hannah Montana is a kid's show that lets young kids live vicariously through this pop star, who at the end of the day is also a normal teenager. And, and that's what made it so interesting. There were, there were hardly any negative sides to her exciting double life on the TV series, and if there were, usually it was spun into a comedic fashion. Because if there was, then it really wouldn't be a family show. It would be an NBC or Fox television series, like or something on CTV here in Canada, like Instant Star. So why all of a sudden the change here? To me, it hardly makes a shred of sense to do this. Uh, and if this is the end of Hannah Montana, then it's certainly not the end the show needed, or the character needed. I actually like Billy Ray Cyrus here, though, quite a bit, uh, who I actually thought was pretty good in this TV series prior to Hannah Montana, known as Doc. His scenes with Miley are really well done, and I guess I could say that they're built from their real relationship, but other than that, and a few minor good scenes, this movie just missed a golden opportunity, and I don't think they'll get it back. So, two stars out of five for Hannah Montana.